Good morning, Grade Five. How are you all today? So today, let us start with a new topic, and we will be revising about the landforms. We will be talking about the major landforms. So, what are the major landforms? You remember we were studying from our textbook, and that was chapter number nine. Okay, so let's talk about what are the major landforms. Okay, so did we talk about the mountains? Did we talk about the mountains? Yes, we talked about the mountains. Okay. Did we talk about the plateaus? Okay. Do we live in a plateau? Yes, we live in a plateau. And what is the name of our plateau? The name of our plateau is Malwa Plateau. So we've talked about the mountains and we've talked about the plateaus. Okay. Okay. Now, what all, what else have we talked about? Have we talked about the plains? Have we talked about the Ganga Yamuna plains, the the gigantic plains? Yes, we have talked about the gigantic plains also. Have we talked about the Thar Desert? Yes, we have talked about the Thar Desert. Thar Desert is in which country? Thar Desert is in India and Pakistan. And did we talk about the river valley? Yes, we have talked about the river valleys. So, what are the major landforms that we will be studying? Okay, the major landforms that we will be studying are is mountains, plateaus, plains, desert, and river valleys. Now, let's. Uh, what uh, What do you understand by the word mountain? What do you mean by the word mountain? Okay, what is a mountain? A mountain is a huge mass of land which rises from more than which rises more than 900 meters above the sea level. So if this is the sea level, a mountain is a landform which rises more than 900 meters above the sea level. Mountains cover around 24% of the total area of the earth. So whatever is the total area of the earth, okay, more, of that 24% is covered by what? 24% is covered by a mountain. Yes. Okay. The highest landform, the, la the mountains contain rounded or conical peak. So either the mountain peaks are like this conical or they are rounded. So if we look out of the window, okay, we will find rounded peaks. Okay. So if we go into the Himalayas, we will find conical peaks. Is it clear? Okay. Steep slopes are the most common feature of the mountain. So what do you mean by steep slopes? Now see, this slope is very steep, right? Yes. So this is what steep slopes mean. Now steep slopes is a very common feature of a mountain. They vary in height, shapes and due to their age. Now this means that this is very young mountain and this means that this is very old mountain. Rounded peaks means due to the uh, agents of erosion and over time, this sort of mountain, when it goes, becomes old, it becomes a round mountain. <coughs> now, several mountains may join together to form a chain of mountains. So, we have the chain of mountains that is Rockies in North America, Andes in South America, are two such examples. Now, can we talk about... Uh, mountains in detail. Today's class will only be we uh, about mountains. So we've talked about major landforms. Okay, we've talked about what are the major landforms. Now let's go to one such landform and that such landform that we are going to talk about today is a mountain. Yes, let's talk about it. Okay, so let's talk about a mountain in a little Detail. So, mountains are basically of two types. Okay. How many types? Two types. So, one is fold mountain. And the other one is block mountain. Okay. So, mountains are basically of how many types? Two types. Fold mountain and uh, block mountain. So, a fold mountain is what? When two tectonic plates, okay, when two tectonic plates uh, collide, okay, they collide, they collide. Now, gradually, they'll collide and 
they will start forming a mountain like this. This is known as a fold mountain. There were two tectonic plates. Tectonic plates are the plates out of which our earth is made up of. Two tectonic plates. They are coming and colliding with each other. Okay. They are forming a conical landform. And this is what is known as <clears throat> a fold mountain. So an example of a fold mountain is that of the Himalayas. And Himalayas are where? In Asia. Okay. We also have Himalayas. Now let's talk about the block mountain. So what is a block mountain? The block mountain are found when the earth's crust slide along the cracks due to the internal forces. So an example of uh, block mountain is what? See, now this is earth's crust and this is earth's crust. Okay. Now this was together at one point of time and now this one slides around here. Okay. So now this is forming a mountain sort of a thing, right? Right? So this is what a block mountain is all about. Sometimes what happens is that it slides like this also when this goes down. So it's like <laughs> this. Two mountains are formed, right? So this is what a block mountain is all about. Now there is one more type of mountain that we have talked about and that type of mountain is volcanic mountain. Now what is a vol volcanic mountain? A volcanic mountain is when a volcano erupts. Okay. So suppose uh, a volcano is erupting like this is a place. Okay. And then a volcano erupts like this, like this, like this, like this. Gradually what happens is that this volcano makes peak like this. So now what happens? This landform is created. This landform is what sort of a landform? Is it a volcano, volcano, um, mountain sort of a landform? Now this is what a volcanic mountain is all about. So we've talked about what fold mountains are. We've talked about what vol vol block mountains are. And we've talked about what volcanic mountains are. Now, what is the importance of mountains? Mountains act as a barrier against the cold. Obviously, it acts as a barrier against the cold, hot and dry winds. Mountains have rivers originating from mountains which provide for irrigation, drinking and land power. Uh, power. Presence of various minerals. Mountains are rich in minerals. Okay. Use of mountains as uh, mountain rock as building, uh, building material. Yes, mountain rocks have been used as a building material since time immemorial. Presence of rich forest and fertile land. Mountains have a very rich flora and fauna, and it has a very fertile land also. So today, what did we do? We talked about the we talked about the major landforms, and we talked about the mountains, and we have talked about what fold mountains are, what black mountains are, block mountains are, and what what Kailik mountains are. So happy learning, children. Please revise this very properly. Please do in depth research on this. Please read your textbook. Take care. Thank you. Bye bye.